All right, so if you bought a uh, Canon 5D Mark II or any camera that's this expensive, you're pretty serious about uh, photography. And so how should you shoot and what should you shoot? That's the question. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the menu and we're gonna look at the quality. All right, so the first thing that is in your menu on the first page is the quality. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open that thing up right there. All right, so here we are. Right now I've got it set on large JPEG, and um, that is a compressed file. JPEG, of course, stands for Joint Photographic Expert Group, and uh, I think Samsung is the one who created these. And the idea was to have compressed files that you could store on the Internet. And so if you look down there, you've got you've got a smooth half circle and L, which means large, and then you got it like a chunky one large. Same thing for mediums and small. And so what do those mean? Well, the first one is basically smooth large. And a smooth large file, when you take one picture, is about six megabytes. If you've got two gigabytes of storage, you could put 310 pictures in. The noisy one here, right here, that's the one next to it. Let me just move it over. That one with the chunky looking thing, or staircase next to the L. That's gonna give you a file size of about three megabytes, and you can get about 610 pictures. So you see what happens here. You get less with this one, more with this one. If we go to medium, you're gonna be looking at um, about 3.6 megabytes. You get about 500 pictures. If you go with the noisy one, you're gonna get approximately well, first of all, it's gonna be about two megabyte size and you're gonna get about 990 pictures. And then if you go uh, smooth, small, you get about a two megabyte size on a file and you're gonna get about 910 pictures. And then if you get the chunky uh, staircase small, you're gonna be looking at one megabyte file and about 1,680 pictures that you could take for two gigabytes. So that's how that works. Now let's go over to the raw. Let's click this one over. I'm just gonna put it on raw. If you're a serious photographer, you're gonna use raw because raw is uncompressed, number one. That means that it captures all of the information. All JPEGs are compressed, so they're lower quality photos. With raw, you can do much more in post, but they give you a couple choices. You can go raw, you can go SRAW1, SRAW2. So if you shoot straight up raw, each file size is gonna be about 26 megabytes, and for two gigabytes, you get about 72 pictures. If you go SRAW1, you're looking at about 15 megabytes file size, and you're looking at about 120 pictures. That's this one right here, okay? And then if you go to the last SRAW2, you're gonna be looking at um, about a 11 megabyte file size, and I mean, you can get about 170 pictures on that. But I mean, why would you even use those? I would just stick with RAW. Now we've got these giant cards where you got 250 gigabytes on a card. When this camera came out, people were buying, you know, 16, eight gigabyte cards and they were expensive. Now they're cheap, so you can get them. Um, the card that comes with this is a CF card. It's a little bit different because it's an older camera. Now you can also shoot a JPEG and a RAW file at the same time. And when you do that, uh, you're gonna really suck up the, the um, you're gonna really suck up the space in your card. If you do that, you're looking at 25, 26 megabytes plus about another six. You're looking at 57 pictures for every two gigabytes. If you go with the smaller one, you're getting about 89 pictures. And if you go with the very small one, you get about 110 pictures for two gigabytes. But screw that, just go for raw. Put a big card in there. And if you're gonna be doing post, um, you don't really need to shoot a JPEG. You can make it a JPEG in your post on your uh, Lightroom. So, so what, I, what I do is what I shoot is these raw files, and that's all I use. And if I want to compress it on my computer, I will, if I'm going to be sending it to somebody. But this way, you get the best flexibility, and you can do the most manipulation with the data that you get from the photo, and it's completely uncompressed. All right, so anyway, once you've decided on what you're going to shoot, and I'm going to shoot raw, and I'm not going to shoot a JPEG, so that little slash means no JPEG. If I moved it over, I'd be shooting JPEGs. I move it here, no JPEG. Watch how it changes on there. See there, it adds the raw and the large JPEG. I just wanna go raw, bam, I'm on raw. And that's it, and if I'm good for that, I'm just gonna click here, and that's gonna be the setting that I'm gonna be shooting at from now on. So I'm gonna press this middle button, 
and now I'm shooting raw and that's it. So we're in and then we hit here and we're out of the menu and Bob is your uncle again. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you how to do stuff with your Canon 5D EOS. Peace out.